one last video today, and that is going to be a book review of The Shadow Queen by Cedric Redwine. I try and do a book review for all the books that I put in that video back last year for my anticipated reads for the year, so there's 16 of them, and I've done pretty well of doing a book review for every single one of them so far, so I'm very excited though to talk about this book because it was so amazing. I loved it. And also I'll tell you guys now this book review is going to be spoiler free because you don't want to know what's happening and it's going to wreck you. So you need to be ready for the wrecking of this book. But let's get into the review. So this book is about a girl named Lorelai and she is a princess and her parents, you know, everyone loved their kingdom and everything was great but then her mother died and then this other bitch came in and <laughs> took over. Pretty much. So Irina is the queen of the kingdom now and she is a magician. I think they're called a ma ma mush, mamishkadu, mush, mashadoops. I seriously cannot say what their magician, because they have a name for their magic users, like Mamash Mamishkadooks, but I'm just going to say the magic people. So her mother-in-law is a magic person, and she is evil, like pure evil, and it's crazy, because like her sister was the one that married the king first, and then everything went down from there. So after shit went down in this book, I and Irina took over, Lorelai and her little brother Leo fled with Gabriel, who was a soldier who was also their protector, and for years Lorelai has been hiding with her family and, and she's been wanting to go back and take over but she's been going through it slowly learning her own magic because she has magic as well and it is a very good Snow White retelling because then there's a huntsman sent to go find her and the huntsman I love him but that is pretty much the gist of this story and it's pretty close to what the Snow White story is of you know she was a queen and then the guy came in and took over and then Snow White's all like get the heck out of there I love the retelling elements of the story going into this book and it's very good because it also has its own individual spark to it. Like, I mean, what book has Snow White with magical powers? Like, I mean, that's really different and I really, really enjoyed that. But let's get on with the characters. So Lorelai, I really liked how she was so precise and on point with everything she did. She always planned out everything. Nothing was left to chance with her and I think that's a good quality to have and her powers are really cool and it's really interesting how she like learned how to use them and she was like always having to conceal that she had powers though because Irina took over the land and she like decayed it so you know she could never really use her powers but she still found ways to train and it was just really good and I just loved her character and her growth of being from being a princess to be knowing that she is the rightful queen of her kingdom and trying to figure out everything. It was just so good. So good. And oh my god, I loved her brother Leo. He was so adorable and he was so much fun and he was just so behind her wanting to be queen and he was also always so helpful and had such flair with the way he was and he was such good at impersonating people. Like he could pretend he was from different lands and get in and out and do different things and I loved him. He was so good. And Gabriel, he was such a good protector. He was pretty much their father and it was so nice and you know he had a family too. He had people that he had to leave to get the princess and her brother out and he was just so good and he was so protective and he's such a good like voice of reason in this story and I just I love him so much and he was just so great and on point. Irina was a classic villain like she was so bad but I actually enjoyed her but and I, I gotta admit like it's understandable why she did what she does because you get the whole backstory of how she became evil and why she did it and it's understandable why but it's like there's you always have the choice of doing making the good decision and making the bad decision and she made obviously the bad decision as she became the evil queen and I am glad that she was such a good villain though because you get those books where you have the villains where it's like they're so easy to kill but she was very she had some powers going on and she had some shit going on and I liked her. Let's get on to one of my favourite characters and that is the Huntsman. His name is Cole and he is the king of the kingdom of El Elder. Elder? I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Elder. Elder is the kingdom next to Ravenspire. I probably should have said this, like, uh, Lorelai is the princess and the queen of Ravenspire, which that's her kingdom and Cole comes from Elders. Elder and they're like very close together and what is really sad about Cole is like his whole family pretty much has recently died because there's ogres in his land that are killing everything and he has to go and find resources and way to kill these ogres so he goes to Irina to get her to help him and then she's all cool and then they make a deal that ends badly for him having it so that he has to go find Lorelai and kill her but he didn't really want to in the first place which I enjoyed. The Huntsman before was all like yeah kill the bitch but this book he is very like not wanting to hurt anyone and what is also cool about Cole is he's a dragon. Dragon. Isn't that cool? He 
turns into a dragon. So he has two hearts, which is really cool. And he is just, I love him so much. Like, he is a dragon. There's no dragon in the Snow White story. It is dragon and the husband and king. <laughs> Everything is perfect with him. I just loved him so much. He was such a great character. He's so protective of everyone. And even though he doesn't think he can be the king and he was not ready for it, he does he just he does it so well and he's just he's everything that you want in your love interest in the book. And I just I loved him so much and he was such a great character and I just but this book was such a great Snow White retelling. I loved the events that happened in this book. Everything that I wanted was great and it just happened. There was a lot of sad things in this as well that were very just like, oh, of course that's happening. But it's still a, such a good story. I loved it and I'm pretty sure this is only a standalone. I'd love another book though to have some more of my babies in this book. But I really enjoyed it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this book review. I hope you enjoyed and you should check out the book. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.